Welcome to the Life of Hair. This is my first review show. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the new GHD Gold Straightener. Uh, GHD were kind enough to send me these straighteners uh, a little while ago, so I've been using them on the salon floor for a little while and in uh, various scenarios. And um, I think they're massively improved on the originals. I've got a pair of the originals right here to show you as well. Um, and so one of the main things that they've, they've done is they've changed the heat sensor. They've got a new, new generation of heat sensor. I've got a little uh, guide here which I will pop up on the screen in a little while when we talk about that. But first of all, I wanted to just talk a little bit about the new design of the GHD uh, straightener. So um, let's just get those out to have a look. So I'll show you guys like this from above, and they are in the box. Inside the box we have the straightener itself, which is a really nice sleek black design, GHD gold on the side there. Uh, changed the plug design a while ago, GHD don't have the European plug design anymore, it's a fixed plug. Um, so for those of you who are traveling abroad, you need to remember to take your adapter with you these days. Uh, also, they have this nifty little cover, so if the straighteners are at full heat, then um, you can not worry about melting the carpet or whatever you put them down on. Uh, once you've finished straightening, just put this silicone heatproof uh, protector over there and you're good to go. Uh, they still have the functionality that switches them off after half an hour. It doesn't switch them off, sorry. It puts them into standby mode. Uh, after half an hour uh, of being still. So that's really a good peace of mind for you guys that leave your straighteners on at home and you're worried whether you're gonna burn the house down uh, or at least melt your carpet. So that's a really good feature. Uh, they've got this really good swivel cable here as well. So if you're using it or curl at awkward angles, then you don't have the cable getting in the way. So that's a really, really good feature, I think, of VET. So, I think one of the main things is, uh, compared to the old ones, they've changed the design slightly. So they've got this very, very slick uh, black plate now. It's got a dual sensor technology. So previously, inside the plate was one sensor that detected the heat passing through the plate. Um, then they upgraded to um, this lovely straightener here, which is called the GHD Platinum Straightener. So this is their top of the line. Uh, straightener okay with this kind of really interesting u-shaped hinge that they've put on uh, to this particular straightener um, but it's got three heat sensors so the heat from the tip of the plates uh, all the way through is even um, so they've moved that technology into the gold see it's slightly slimmer so it's great for curling you get a slightly uh, tighter curl if that's what you want um, that you can brush out afterwards um, and I've really, really liked these. I think these are my, currently my go-to straighteners, even over the GHD Platinum. Uh, I just really, really like the ergonomics, the way that they feel in the hand. Um, so let me just get the GHD, the original ones out, which are still on sale. Um, so these guys have got one heat sensor. Um, and let's get all this up here. So again, GHD have swapped over the style of plug on these as well. So you don't have that European plug anymore, uh, even on the uh, Mark 5s. So the Mark 5s you'll see straight away has this uh, ceramic plated uh, plate, okay? So ceramic coated, sorry, plate on the inside here. Um, still have the same functionality of going into the sleep mode after half an hour. 
Um, but equally, uh, design-wise, just feels slightly different in the hand. A bit slimmer on the ceramic, uh, a little bit more rounded on the new gold. Okay, so really, really uh, similar feeling, but just got some slight tweaks to the design. Hopefully you can see there some of the changes, slightly pointier ends here, slightly rounder. Hasn't got that textured tip. I mean, I very much like the update. Uh, the, the update is, the truth be known, I've always loved the, the Mark V, this one. Uh, it's been around for a, quite a long time now. Um, and the update, usually, when the updates in him, I don't know about you, but I find when a company brings along a new product, I'm not always thinking that it's uh, worth the extra money or did they do a good job upgrading, but really, really, truly believe that this is uh, an improvement on the old on the old one. Um, so yeah, really, really, really good straightener. Um, you'll see it in use in a minute um, on our lovely model. Um, if you want to get these, uh, I'll link them in uh, down below. So I'll link you straight to the GHD website. Uh, avoid trying to buy them from cheaper websites because there are lots of kind of copies on the internet. Um, and they do come with a guarantee. You register your guarantee on this foil code here. So that's really, really important that you do that. Um, and I think really what uh, one of the things that I've uh, enjoyed the most, smooth on the hair, they create very little drag. When you're using beautifully smooth uh, finish to the hair, you get really good shine. They don't heat, heat up uh, beyond 185 degrees, um, and that is really important. So they're not variable temperature, they've just got one on off button here, and they do make a sound when they're ready to go. So they make this kind of, uh, dinging sound when they're hot enough to use um, and I know some of you will be out there to say oh yeah I really much prefer a variable temperature uh, but in reality is that if anything goes above 185 degrees you're going to create permanent damage in the hair there's going to be no going back to that and so for those of you guys that want to regularly straighten your hair either daily or um, more than once a day some of you out there that do that um, you really, really don't want to get a straightener that goes above 185 degrees. Um, if you have any more uh, questions about these straighteners in the uh, comments below, then do ask me and I will come back to you. So I hope you have a great week and in the next episode I will be back to my usual uh, how-to video. Okay, so we're going to be looking at some more balayage techniques. But I hope you have a lovely time between now and then and I'll see you soon.